Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to trace an image in Maya and turn it into a 3D model. Okay, so first we need a reference image, and you would never want to bring a reference image into the perspective view. So I'm going to go to my front view. I'm going to press spacebar and move into my front view and press spacebar. Over here is the view dropdown, view, image plane, import image. I'm going to choose my image. Okay, and this is the image that I am going to be tracing. So uh, we can stay in this view, but if I spacebar, you can see that the image has been placed in. And whenever you're using the tracing tools, you want to stay in one of the side, front, or top view. Okay, so in the front view here, get nice and close. We're going to go to Create, and there are Curve Tools. There's a few types. The EP Curve Tool is a, a tool that allows you to just manually click through. That can be hard-edged uh, splines or it could, uh, curves, or it can be curved curves. Uh, the Bezier is, is a, like a pen tool, and the pencil is just kind of hand draw. So I'm going to go to the EP Curve Tool. And with the EP Curve Tool, I'll just demo, demonstrate it over here. Um, what it does is, if you click, you can click, 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 you can see how it curves automatically when using this tool. However, with an image like this, I don't need any curves. So I'm going to delete that and get the tool again. Curve Tools, EP Curve Tool but we can go to the options for it. So here's the tool. I'm going to double click it. And what I want is this to be a hard edged tool. So instead of three cubic, I'm going to click on one linear and close this out. And you can see now the next time I use this tool, it's nice and straight edged. All right, so now we're ready to trace the image. I'm going to start at the top here. And I'm going to begin to trace and if you hold shift it will make a 90 degree edge so I'm gonna hold shift as I go through here so I know that my lines are straight and there is something that's a little different about this tool than any other software like Illustrator or Photoshop that you might know uh, we don't click on the first points so we don't close the spline. We don't um, click on the, the first point that you made to close the spline. We have to close it manually in Maya. So to do that, first, when I'm finished, I'm going to stop short of the first point. So I stopped here. There's still a gap there. I'm going to press Return. OK, and just so you can see, I'm going to delete my image. And you can see how I've stopped short here. And we have to now manually close the spline. To do that, we come up to the word curves and this is while I'm selected on it curves and go to open close and when you go to open close you can see how it closed it automatically so let's go to spacebar and get to the perspective view here and now what we want to do is turn this into a 3d model so we come up to the word surfaces this is again while I'm selected on the spline surfaces we're gonna to go to the word bevel plus and options <clears throat> so in Bevel Plus, if I just press Bevel and leave everything the same, it will bevel it just like this. So we have that nice straight-edged cut image or model. I'll undo that. If I go to the options, though, so that's under Bevel Plus option box, uh, this is the bevel width and depth. So let's say I did a point one and a point one for our bevel. And I'll choose convex out, which is a rounded edge, and then press bevel. You can see the difference now. It's given it a beveled edge. So it's your choice what you want to do, if you want to just straight cut it or not. Um, so good luck and give it a try.